Hey everybody, here are a couple of moves you'll learn in the Poi and Hoop Dance class and some variations on these moves. They're the Butterfly and the Corkscrew. Now Butterflies and Corkscrews are two of six foundational moves that all beginners learn and they morph into more advanced moves very easily. You can turn butterflies and corkscrews into a very large number of other tricks by moving them onto different planes, pulling them apart, bringing them back together, widening and shrinking them, even doing them while sitting or laying down, and lots of other variations too. Here are some parts of a routine I did a while back. You can see the variations of the butterflies and the corkscrews, and in a minute you'll see these same moves being done with fire in a different routine of mine. Now here I am doing a lot of variations on the butterfly, including bouncing them off my arms and then getting down onto the floor, laying down to bounce them off of my legs. This is using the butterfly on the horizontal plane. You want to be able to use all your tricks on every plane and at different heights, meaning very low to the ground and way up high above your head. Pretty soon I'll start doing some variations on corkscrews called buzz saws turning them into tight corkscrews with a spin, meaning I'm turning around in a circle. Then I'll go back to butterfly variations, which include Mexican waves, over the head butterflies, and through the leg butterflies. Then I go back to variations on the corkscrew with some waist wraps while spinning around in a circle. You want to make your poi dancing as interesting as possible, so Turns and jumping or dancing always make your poi dances way more fun than just standing still. Pretty soon I'll do a variation of a corkscrew called The Matrix. And you can probably guess why it's called that because it comes from the movie The Matrix. Now you're going to see many of these same moves I just did here on fire. Mexican waves, changing the speed of the move, and turning around 180 degrees always makes your dances much more interesting so you can face an audience in the round. Adding different types of stalls is a great way to transition from one type of trick to another. Now whether or not you even want to do fire is up to you of course and you might just choose to do poi and hooping all by yourself without fire and not in front of any kind of audience at all. Which is great because there are lots of different reasons to do poi and hooping. You can use it for exercise or meditation, which can be solo activities. Or, if you want, you can do it for fun with a partner or a group, making up routines and taking your act out to the public. Here we go with the butterflies on the horizontal plane again, and the butterflies laying down on the ground with some bouncing off the legs. So with just a few tricks under your belt, you can do a wide variety of poi dancing. You can learn these tricks and many more during the Poi and Hoop Dance class at UW-Milwaukee.